With elementary schools here in South Korea shifting along with middle and high schools to online classes due to the COVID-19 outbreak, some multicultural families in the country have been struggling to get their heads around this post-virus method of remote learning. Our Che Won Jong visited one such family to hear their story. Sophie Song moved to South Korea from Australia three and a half years ago, but has been struggling with her daughter's first year of elementary school. Her biggest concerns are the language barrier and her lack of experience with the Korean education system, but is doing what she can to help her daughter take online classes. And I just have no sense of the school environment here to be able to give her an expectation about it. So I feel like I'm sort of, I feel like I'm reading like a kind of, recipe book in another language with no pictures and then trying to describe her what the cake is going to look like. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, the South Korean government closed schools nationwide. Sophie's daughter, Alice, is among the last group of students to start online classes. I want to meet new friends and I'm also excited to learn a lot of things. However, the language barrier remains an issue, even as schools switch to online lessons. Some sort of reassurance of what we can do to help our kids in the long term. You know, I worry about those sort of gaps and I, I worry how I'm going to be able to keep it up. To overcome these issues, education offices provide support to multicultural students who need help understanding school materials. The Gyeonggi-do Province Education Office provides bilingual language instructors who can visit students at home and help with online platforms. In Tegu, school materials are being offered in six languages, including Russian and Vietnamese, and translated text messages are sent to parents. Local multicultural family support centers also offer additional translation of any changes to the education system. The Ministry of Gender Equality and Family provides a 24-7 helpline in 13 languages to support multicultural families. Cheon Jong, Arirang News.